Hello, is this thing on? Hi there. I'm Scott the Garden Gnome, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about an herb spiral. So I've been busy working on this for the last month or so, and I wanted to talk about the project, uh, what I did, why I did what I did, and right now there's no herbs in it because we're still in cold weather here in Canada, but I've got it all covered with mulch to keep the weeds away. So the idea here is this herb spiral is a permaculture. The concept is <clears throat> that on the top, there's soil that's more sandy, and on the bottom, there's soil that's more rich. On the top, it won't get as much water. On the bottom, it'll be more wet. There's a side that's gonna be in the shade and a side that's gonna be in the sun. So it allows you to plant a bunch of different herbs in, that go with different climates. And it's a great way to use space if you have a small yard. Now I have a big yard, but I had a lot of stuff lying around and I saw this idea and I said, that looks really cool. I'm gonna make one. So what I did is I first carved a circle and cut away all the grass and put down uh, paper sacks and mulch to make that outside ring. Then I took the middle part and I left the grass there but covered that with cardboard in order to keep the weeds and things from coming through that. But I didn't want to have to remove all the grass. So I tried to keep things in this project fairly natural and using what I have around me. Um, after that, I then started to build this ring of rocks. Now all these rocks came from the land here. Uh, we did a little construction on this property and they were all dug up. So I had this big pile of rocks. I'm like, hey, I can use a big pile of rocks. And I also had a big pile of fill dirt. So what I did is I started to build this circle of rocks. I measured out the circle. It's about one foot wide throughout uh, for the planting, for the spiral as it goes up. And so there's two ways to do this. You can either build a big mound of dirt and then do a ring of rocks going up to the top. But when it settles over the years, that dirt's gonna erode. Or you can do what I did where there's rocks all the way to the ground in the spiral. So I built up that ring of rocks. Then I added the fill dirt at the bottom where I didn't need the dirt to be quite as rich and then put a mix of compost and good dirt above that. And then I've covered it with mulch, which I got from my neighbor when they chopped down some trees. I traded them for sourdough, which is what you do out here in the country. And so this is where it's gonna sit for now until the ground warms up and I can plant herbs in it. But the idea is that the top is where you're gonna have your herbs that like it dry and the bottom is where you're gonna have your herbs that like a richer soil mix because that's what's down there. And that's it. That is an herb spiral. Um, it's something you can try if you have the parts around home. It's about six feet across. If you do a search online, you can find places with guides on how to build them up as well as guides as what to plant in what part of the spiral. Now, some people that get really fancy make a little pond at the end of it for water herbs and things like that, but I'm not gonna be quite that fancy. So there we go. That's an herb spiral. And that's Scott the Garden Gnome saying farewell. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, come back soon. Bye-bye, bye-bye.